In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz landing page and make it successful. My name is Paul Toby from Training Business Pros. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to divide this video up into three sections. The first section is absolutely something that you need before even starting to create that landing page. Yes, quizzes are a great landing page strategy, but there is one thing you absolutely need to do in order to make it successful. The second thing we're going to talk about is the software that I use, and I'm going to build it in WordPress. So that's, you want to pay attention to that, which software am I using and how does it work and how fast does it go? And then the third thing is, and you're really going to want to stick around for this because I'm going to show you how I created over 28,000 subscribers for one of my clients using this quiz landing page strategy. We're going to get started momentarily. All right, so we're talking about how to create a quiz landing page. And I said that I was gonna divide it up into three sections. Let's tackle the first section. And remember to stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you a client in which I created over 28,000 subscribers into their website CRM. And that's a success. And if you wanna be like that, try to follow these three steps. Here's the first one. You wanna do some keyword research in order to determine what quiz to put and make it rank in a Google search engine results page. So for that, I'm gonna walk you through quickly how I do it in SEM Rush. I'll include a link below to SEM Rush so you can go check it out for yourself. Maybe get the free trial and see how it works. It is a paid software, but it's totally worth the money. Anyway, go to the keyword magic tool on the left-hand side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter two words. The first one's gonna be the word quiz and or test. So sometimes test can be substituted, but let's start with quiz. And then any subject matter you want. Let's say cars. We're gonna do a quick search. And then we're gonna turn on questions only. And under the advanced filters, we're gonna choose a word count of eight or more. Now we're doing this because we know there's a fair amount of competition for certain keyword phrases and others not so much. If it's eight words long and the word quiz and the word cars is in there, that's where we want to start. So you come down here, it says, well, what kind of car should I get quiz? Great, that sounds like a good one. Or what should I do with my life career quiz? And notice it substitute the word career for cars. So maybe that's not perfect, but you can put in any word like dogs and it'll give you a bunch of quiz titles that you absolutely need to use for SEO purposes. What kind of dog should I get quiz? Do I qualify for a service dog quiz? So all of these are keyword phrases that you absolutely need to use. Once you have that and we're going to go back and choose one for cars so that we can go make our quiz. So what kind of car should I get quiz? Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do, which is part two, is we're going to use Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, there are many softwares that you can use for WordPress. Thrive happens to be fairly inexpensive. I'll include a link to it below. I think there's also a free trial, but you might wanna check that out because I've been using Thrive Quiz Builder for years and it works extremely well and it's super easy. Once it's installed into WordPress, it's basically a one-click install. Just go here and add a new quiz. And in this case, we're gonna choose list building. So we're gonna build our mailing list. And we're gonna call this our car enthusiast list. And the type of quiz that we're gonna choose, and you can choose any type, number, percentage, category, right or wrong, survey. Let's go with percentage. So that's basically a percentage out of 100. So if they score a certain percentage, then we can show them what the results are and take them to the next step. So let's just save that. And then you choose a quiz style. Let's go down and choose this one down here. And then once you have that, you can manage the splash page, which is the landing page itself. Okay, once you're here, just make sure that this title, because this is the H1 tag, you wanna make sure that this is the keyword phrase that we researched. So this is, what kind of car should I get quiz? So make sure you type that out now, one of the things you don't wanna do is fill this page up with a lot of advertising, your logos, a bunch of words or whatever. You don't need any of that. And I'm gonna show you proof of why you don't need that. 
So that's the headline that you get. And then just write some content here. Take this quiz and you'll know what kind of car you should buy. And then that's pretty much it. Let's just go save that work. And back to the dashboard. And then once the splash page is finished, you wanna just go manage the questions. So putting the questions in is pretty easy. All you have to do is click add question, and then you can choose multiple choice with buttons or multiple choice with images. If you use images, it takes quite a while to put that together, or you can choose an open-ended question. Let's just choose multiple choice. What was your first car? And then the answers can be, and you can assign points to those answers, or again, if you do one of the other types of quizzes, you can assign all kinds of different things. But specifically here, we're just gonna go with points. So the answer is Gremlin. That was my first car. <laughs> answer, Porsche. And you get the idea. And you can do this all day long. It's not a set defined number of answers for each question. And so if the question has 10 answers, you can have 10 or you can put the word other, whatever. And you can make these as many questions as you want. Let's just go add another quick one and show you how to join them. So the question text is, which type of car do you prefer? And then you could write convertible or luxury car. Okay, so once you have a couple, you can join them together just by doing that and then save and exit. And I think a reasonable number of questions is minimum 10 up to a maximum of 30. So if it's 30 questions, you have to make sure that there's a really good reason to ask 30 questions. And basically you need to score it properly. Let's just go change the opt-in page. So what this is, it's called an opt-in gate. And great job, you have finished the quiz. So great job, you finished the quiz to get your results and report on how to improve. Uh, enter your details here. Now here's one thing that you absolutely need to pay attention to. This is where making a quiz successful for your business is a good idea or for your website. And that is you need to add a connection. And the connection we're gonna choose here is WordPress account. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a free WordPress account in your website and then it's, it creates a subscriber. And then that subscriber gets automatically into your CRM, such as Groundhog, which is the one we're using here, or any other CRM. Because if you're not following up with people with emails, then it's not gonna work very well. So you absolutely need a follow-up CRM system. I like Groundhog, you might wanna go check that one out. I'm gonna post a link to Groundhog below and you can go check that one out. Okay, let's just quickly save the work. And then finally, you can show or manage the results page. So the results page essentially looks like this. Congratulations, you've achieved the following result. And then you can share those results on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. You can add other share buttons. Now try to remember that with Thrive, every single one of these pages for the entire thing, such as the splash page, the questions page, the opt-in gate, and the results page, much of those are configurable. But what I don't wanna to recommend to you is that you change everything because it's a very good system and it works well and it's fairly simple and you should be able to get a quiz up in under an hour. Once you have the quiz finished, just grab the short code and then this is really important. When you create the landing page in WordPress, you're gonna add the same title as you did for the title of the quiz and that is what kind of car should I get quiz? So make sure that when you're creating that new page that you put the title in there and you also put it in the meta description. Title alone, take out the site title, take out the separators, take out the page title and put title in there and then just meta description. So when you complete this, what kind of car should I get quiz? you will run out and buy it immediately. So just make sure that your title is in there as well. Also, when you set the featured image for this page, make sure the name of that image is what kind of car should I get quiz and make sure that it's a proper featured image size. So I promised you at the beginning of this video that when I got to part three, I would show you how I 
created 28,000 subscribers and more in my client's website. And the way that I did that is basically following that formula. And we rank for anything to do with online concussion test, free online concussion test, and even concussion test. So if you take a look here, we're number one when for online concussion test, but if you put in the word free, I'm pretty sure we rank number one for that as well. Yes, we do. But also if you just put concussion test, it depends on where you are, but we also rank for that as well. So we get a ton of traffic to this page. Let me click on the link and show you what their landing page looks like, which is exactly the same landing page as the one we're creating. So notice not a lot of branding, just a, a simple logo, no textual content whatsoever, nothing, no advertising. Make sure you keep it pretty plain and simple because that's what makes it work. People don't want to be advertised to until afterward. Well, maybe they don't want to be advertised to at all. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at the completion report for the last 30 days. And you can see that we're averaging from 232 at the high end per day down to 121. So somewhere between 121 to 232 subscribers per day. That's a lot of subscribers coming and they're all coming through search. So that's how to make your quiz successful. So make sure you follow that three-part formula. Number one, do some keyword research using SEM Rush. Number two, absolutely build that quiz using whatever software you want, but make sure you follow the rules and keep the branding out of it and make sure that you've got your SEO in place. And then finally, obviously number three was I showed you proof, but three is if you want to make it successful, follow the first two rules. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching. It's Paul Toby here. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. When you do, it lets us know your level of interest and will help us create more content just like this for you and other people just like you. If you have any questions or comments about the content, please post them below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for your time.